Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day one of the May Lico Daily Challenge. Yay, day one. Join me for the rest of May. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. Prefix and suffix search. So, yeah, if it's a little bit slow, fast forward or whatever you need to do. And, you know, just, uh, I try to be a little bit whatever about it. So, yeah. Um, my disclaimer for today is that I got my COVID shot yesterday. Uh, my second shot. So I'm like really out of it and groggy and foggy. And I don't know. My eye is a little swollen. I don't know if it shows up. But it is a little bit icky. And everything is icky. Anyway. Uh, still, get, get your second shot, everybody. Or get your first shot, if you can. Uh, anyway, design special dictionary, which has some words that allow you to search the word with prefix and suffix. What does that mean? Apple, A, A, E, A, E, A, E. What does the no mean? Oh, okay. Mm, so, okay. So, then, at least... Mm. Do we have to? Okay, let's let, let's actually. I I've been doing this bad habit thing of like skipping ahead. Let me actually read this. So this sets a list of words. Return the index of word which has the prefix, prefix, and suffix, suffix. So there's more than one word. Return the largest of them. There's no other words. Return negative one. Okay. So I mean, this is a, a data structure problem or pre-processing problem, probably. Um. There are a couple of ways to do it, but the thing to notice is that I guess the the length of the word is only ten, so 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 yeah. I mean, I think you can do try if you really want to overkill it, but but I think we can we can do it. Uh, just pre-process it manually with with hmm. I mean, I think I'm trying to think about the tiebreaker because you have to return the largest of them. And the largest of them, um, you know, if, if this is A, there may be a huge number of them and then E, right? So mm, so maybe we just do a set and then set intersection. Is that too fast or too slow? Sorry. I don't know. It should be... Maybe that is fast enough. I don't know if this is too slow. Well, because... This thing may may intersect with a lot of them, right? Um, and set intersection always depends a little bit. But let's do it naively, and then if naively doesn't work, then we'll figure it out. Uh, but yeah, so solve that prefix is to go to just a, um, a collection. Oops. List. Basically, we're just gonna. Uh, um, we we're gonna brute force caching the prefix and the suffix, and then uh, put them in, I guess. And you see in code, if I, my explanation's a little bit shaky again, I'm a little bit froggy, so my I'm a little bit bad. That's my fault. But yeah, uh, and this you go to length of word four. Oh, let's actually also put the index as well. Uh, and then now. We do for uh, let's see word the first i word so let's actually have at least one character right is that is that how that works hmm. uh anyway mm, let's also reword it. Okay, let's just print it out real quick. Because um, I always worry about off by one of indexes in Python. I am very, I you would think I get it by now. I've been doing it for years, but uh, but still, hmm. Expect an indented block, line twenty six. Oh, I didn't implement this, so that's why. Okay, so A, A, P, yeah, this is what I want, except for, yeah, this is this is off by one, as you can see, because we don't want this. So we want, uh, uh, okay, yeah, this is basically what we want. 
and then uh, now let's go um, solve that prefix a prefix and solve that suffix suffix and then we take the max of this uh, we will have to kind of uh, uh, return the negative one that's the case but, but let's at least see if that works yeah so that works except for now we have to return negative one um, because this is going to give you an error for for an empty sequence or something like that um, so I do have reservation here with respect to running time so let's kind of give it a go maybe it will time out um, but and then we have to think about how to optimize I was just a little bit lazy hmm wrong answer is not actually that one is a little bit surprising to be honest uh, let's see why is that dun, dun, dun. so basically we have all these words we have this thing we think the answer will be four one two or zero one two three four oh did i misread the problem no it's a b and then this thing right a b or the oh i think i misread the problem in that the suffix um i read I have to reverse it. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Should have tested more, I guess. Okay. So now this looks good. Um, I think I just misunderstood the problem a little bit. Maybe not. I just didn't really think about it too much. Uh, my excuse is that I'm still a little bit goggy. I'm sticking to it. Uh, will we get? To, yep. So we do get time limit exceeded on someone like this. Um, hmm. Because then now this this is huge. Um, how do I want to handle it? Huh. I guess there's deduping, but. But I don't know that that's uh, uh, that's sufficient in a general case. Hmm. I'm trying to also think about how to do deduping in a good way. I mean, deduping is obvious, but there's there's another one where I guess there's only at most ten cases, for one for each length. So, what does that mean for each length? <clears throat> hmm. Man, I'm I'm really groggy today. To be, uh, I'm not really thinking quite right. And this, for some reason, I cannot expand this to see this. Another, I mean, I guess I know what this is, but how do I want to think about this? I mean, I think what I'm trying to think is whether there's a domination, and is that good enough for the answer? Hmm. I mean, alternatively, we can have a hundred of these. Uh, what is that? 15,000 times a hundred? What is that? Uh, 1.5 million times a lot of it uses a lot of space um what i was going to do is just like hmm hmm it 
So then what I do is And then now Okay, so I mean this is good, but this is not so much. Hmm. Oh, again, I have to reverse this. Uh, that's why. Same mistake. I don't know that this is good enough, to be honest. Um, but let's give it a go. Uh, in terms of time-limited things. Because it's going to store a lot of memory. Huh. Oh, did I? I mean, I ran. I thought I ran this because this is the. Isn't that one of the things that we were running? Or did I? Man, I'm just really groggy today. Um. Hmm. I mean, like I, I just didn't even see this. I'm eating up wrong answers like crazy. Okay. Oh, this is J. Okay, so this looks good. Uh, let's see if... And it, it's still my time limited, to be honest. So, okay. Um, <clears throat> this is a tricky one, because I think this is very, one of those problems where it's input sensitive. And you have to really do the math precise then. Usually I'm... I'm much better at doing the math so that I don't handle the worst case. Um, but I, I'm just a little bit out of it today. Um, because basically the idea is that, okay, this pre-processing, how, how, how much memory it takes, that's the thing that I would worry about, right? Well, words can go from you know, 0 to 15K, as I said, and each of them can have 10 lengths. So, so the two for loops will have 100, as I was saying. So then this is one, you know... Um, so there'll be 1.5 million entries in lookup in the worst case. And and each of these will store mm, does it store that much? I don't know. Well, I guess maybe it's not that much. But yeah, but the lookups are gonna be very fast. I think the only thing that I would concern about is just this takes too much room because the keys are, are strings themselves. So these will have at most 20 characters each, I guess. So so that's about 30 million uh, characters or, or like an, on the order of that because there'll be a little bit more for storing the index and overhead and stuff like that which is kind of uh which is kind of sketch but it, it seems like this is fast enough and when i you know stop doing silliness uh it seems okay there are a couple of mistakes um yeah uh let me know what you think uh and this is all of one because it's just a look up um you can actually probably handle this if you want to be slightly more efficient you can actually make it a dictionary of dictionaries i think that's technically more more efficient but um i'm really tired right now i'm really drained uh the, the vaccine thing is uh, they're really giving me whatever so anyway um that's all i have uh i'm gonna do this for the rest of may so join me and usually it'll be better and hopefully it'll be better uh but today i'm a little bit wonky i'm a I have a headache everything hurts i will see you tomorrow uh hit the like button hit the subscribe and join me in discord get some rest get some sleep uh yeah t stay good stay healthy i will see you later with good mental health bye bye